social welfare. What is social welfare? According to Gertrude Wilson, social welfare is an organized concern of all people for all people. According to Walter Friedlander, the organized system of social services and institution, designed to aid individuals and groups to attain satisfying standards of life and health. According to Elizabeth Wickenden, social welfare includes those laws, programs, benefits, and services which assure or strengthen provisions for meeting social needs, recognized as basic well-being of the population and the better functioning of the social order. These provision may be directed towards strengthening existing arrangement, mitigating the hardships or handicaps of particular individuals and groups, pioneering new services, stimulating a better adaptation of the social structure, including the creation of new programs needed or a combination of all these approaches to social needs. According to the Pre-Conference Working Committee for the 15th International Conference for Social Welfare, Social welfare is all the organized social arrangements, which have as their direct and primary objective the well-being of people in a social context. It includes the broad range of policies and services which are connected with various aspects of people's lives, minus their income, security, health, housing, education, recreation, cultural traditions, etc. We find in the foregoing definition essentially one idea that social welfare encompasses the well-being of all the members of human society, including their physical, mental, emotional, social, economic and spiritual well-being. Thus, social welfare history, from the prehistoric times of mutual aid to modern-day organized services, gives us accounts of what society has done, and continues to do, to respond to the various needs of its members. Society responds to unmeet needs or problems through the following ways individual and group efforts a systematic and voluntary efforts undertaken by individuals or groups in response to the unmeet needs of people in a community major societal institutions which have their designated roles and responsibilities for meeting human needs the family the church the government cooperatives and labor union are major institutions social forces bring about changes which can affect the effectiveness of these institutions in performing their social welfare functions social agency whether under public or private auspices a social agency is a major provision for helping people with their problems two views or conception of social welfare residual the residual formulation conceives of the social welfare structure as temporary offered during emergency situation and withdrawn when the regular social system the family and the economic is again working properly institutional formulation in contrast, sees social welfare as proper, legitimate functions of modern society. That some individual are not able to meet all their needs is considered a normal condition and helping agencies are accepted as regular social institution. Social welfare programs falls under the following categories. Social security. This refers to the whole set of compulsory measures instituted to protect the individual and his family against the consequences of an avoidable interruption or serious diminution of the earned income disposable for the maintenance of a reasonable standard of living. Personal social services. These refer to service functions which have major bearing upon personal problems, individual situations of stress, interpersonal, helping, or helping people in need and the provision of direct service in collaboration with workers from government, and voluntary agencies. Public assistance. This refers to material or concrete aids or supports provided, usually by government agencies, to people who have no income or means of support for themselves and their families for reason, such as loss of employment, natural disasters, etc. Thanks for watching. For more social work updates, visit my YouTube page, hit the bell, and subscribe.